இங்கிலீஷ் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் சீனியர் நவம்பர் நைன்டீன் நைன்டி டூ ஸ்டார்ட் மிஸ்டர் சேர்மன் ஐ ஹாவ் கிரேட் ப்ளஷர் இன் ஆஃபரிங் எ ஃபியூ ரிமார்க்ஸ் ஆன் த ஒர்க்கிங் ஆஃப் த எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி போர்டு ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு கன்க்ராச்சுலேட் த போர்டு ஆன் தியர் அச்சீவ்மெண்ட்ஸ் விச் ஆர் தேர் ஃபார் த ஹோல் வேர்ல்டு டு சி ஐ டு நாட் சி எனி ரீசன் ஒய் எனிபடி ஷுட் ஃபைண்ட் ஃபால்ட் வித் தம் ஃபார் நாட் ஹேவிங் மேட் யூஸ் ஆஃப் த ரிசோர்ஸஸ் அவைலபிள் ஆன் த அதர் ஹேண்ட் வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு சி தட் வி ஸ்டாண்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இன் த ஹோல் கண்ட்ரி அஸ் ஃபார் அஸ் ஹைட்ரோ எலக்ட்ரிக் டெவலப்மெண்ட் கோஸ் அண்ட் அஸ் ஃபார் அஸ் த யூஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி ஃபார் இரிகேஷன் பர்போசஸ் இஸ் கன்சர்ன்ட் அண்ட் பை வே ஆஃப் த டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் கன்சியூமர்ஸ் We stand second in the whole country in generation of power. In the circumstances, thought that everybody would be glad to congratulate at the electricity board. These are days of revolution. We have heard of the green revolution in the field of agriculture. I think we may call this is the white revolution in the field of electricity where darkness has given place to brightness i think this must be a revolution by itself if it has been possible for the green revolution to take place it is on account of the electricity revolution because the expansion of power has been greatly responsible for the lift irrigation in villages at present i cannot think of life without electricity we should understand that it is not merely the luxury of the rich but the necessity of every citizen how can there be any life without electric light or fan for even middle class people speaking about electric power i have no doubt that we can really be proud of the achievement in the rural electrification scheme we are aware that we are committed to the ideal of seeing to it that villages enjoy all the facilities that towns enjoy great progress has been made in the supply of electricity to villages and we find that every village is going to be electrified before the end of this year we are not far behind and i am happy about it electricity fails now and then and a result there is darkness i would very much appeal to the board to see that the transformers are strengthened and every necessary step is taken to see to it that such failure is minimized to the extent possible but i am happy in another way we are in charge of a few hostels where there are children from villages and i am happy that the harijan colonies are being fast electrified they must be electrified as soon as possible because when the boys in the hostels go to home during the holidays they do not have these amenities at home i would very much like to appeal that there should be a community hall in each church colony provided with a bright light supplied free by the government where all the children may be able to read when they go home during occasion i hope this will be given top priority reference was made to the power cut and it is hoped that this would be eliminated at least next year i have my own fears about this i am afraid whether the vagaries of the monsoon have been taken into account when we say that by next year we will be able to achieve this i agree that we have to cooperate with the government and see that all the restrictions are observed here i would like to make an appeal to all the departments of the government 
to see that there is absolute economy in the use of electricity. Letter dated 20th April 1990 from Ajanda Cycle Manufacturers Limited, Calcutta to Messrs. Noik Trading Company, Bombay. Dear Sars, with reference to your instructions, we have booked your order for 200 pieces of Ajanda Cycles complete with accessories. We are sorry to inform you that on account of irregular power supply in this region during the past one month, our program of production has suffered very much and it has resulted in huge backlog of orders. So, we are afraid that it will not be possible for us to execute your order according to the schedule of delivery agreed upon. We are trying to fulfill our commitments to the best of our ability, but even then supply may be delayed by 3 or 4 weeks. We very much regret the inconvenience caused to you, especially in view of our long and satisfactory business relations with you. However, in the circumstances that we have mentioned above, it will not be possible to entertain any claim for compensation since the delay is due to the factors which were entirely beyond our control. Although we have suffered some losses due to this dislocation in our production schedule, we are ready to maintain the price agreed upon if you agree that the full quantity ordered will be accepted when supplied. We await your early reply in regard to the matter and we assure you of our best attention at all times. Yours faithfully.